Good morning, everyone. I'm Scott McGrew. I hope you are a longtime watcher of press here. If you are, you know, each week my team of reporters and I talk to various CEOs and newsmakers. This is a serious show. It's not a Sunday morning infomercial, but that said, let me talk to you about toothpaste. We have for you this morning a revolutionary new toothpaste created in Silicon Valley, gets teeth 260% cleaner than the leading brand, but that's not all. It cuts your risk of gingivitis and leaves your mouth minty fresh. Or so claims Amit Goswami, he is the guy trying to disrupt the toothpaste industry with Livion Livionix, a $20 toothpaste, joined by John Swartz of USA Today and Alex Alice Trong, of course. Let me ask you about this 250% claim. People say it's twice as good as Brand X. Yours is, how is something 250% better? Well, first we've got to take a look at what people do today, Scott. They what brush we, their teeth. Yes, and you brush it the way your ancestors brushed it 4,000 years ago, with scrubbing them. Then they used to scrub with twigs. Now you scrub with really right, fresh and it's got some, it's got some detergents in there and some something right, to make it right. rough and some fluoride. I can make toothpaste. Absolutely <laughs> you can, and that's the reason why 90 up to 90% of all American adults have gum inflammation and bleeding, and according to the U.S. CDC, 47% of American adults, that's 66 million all right, adults, you like have your, you like gum your statistics. disease. How is that 250% better? What did you do to toothpaste to make that 50% better? What we did is we started to look at it Silicon Valley style. We said scrubbing ain't enough. How would you do it if you were really going to go design it from scratch? And we said, let's figure out how to break the molecular bond between dental plaque, which is an oral biofilm. Biofilms are the way bacteria protect themselves and make themselves, themselves into a lean, mean fighting machine. How can you break it in a way that it disperses rather than you're scrubbing it away as much as you can? So you call this dental gel. It looks like skin lotion, actually. Can I try it? Absolutely. So while I'm trying it, can you ask it is edible. Question? <laughs> I want to see if it's many fresh. I am it really... is edible. Oh, sure. <laughs> Oh, well, for now, you well, now the, the rest of us can't try it. But I'm happy. Okay, it's... well, tell us. Tastes like mouthwash. Okay. But I mean, I'm I'm drinking it. I'm I, I'm not brushing it. I, can I ask you? Do you have to brush it? If, I mean, would you? No, have to do brush you? It? Or you do. Supply? You do. What happens is this is this is designed in a very scientific way. We want to deliver the gel right into the teeth, right into the plaque, so the pressure of the brush actually releases it right into the teeth and when you brush it. So I did, I had a gum graft a long time ago. It was one of the worst experiences of my life. That's why I brush my teeth twice a day. I go to the dentist twice a year. But, um, These are normal things. I know. Before I wasn't quite as good right. about that. But I'm wondering, how much does this cost? And I'm wondering what the investment would be for something like, like this tube, which is fairly Four small. cups of Starbucks coffee. Is per the cost. what? That's 20 bucks. For six weeks of use, so like brushing twice year, a day. So what does that come to? Well, if you take a look, it lasts you six weeks. So you need about eight tubes to last you a year. We even offer packages where for most of our customers will buy one tube because they think it's too good to be true. Then they all come back and buy the six pack, which drops the price I'm, to $15. I'm in, I, I can see how you think that people buy toothpaste for their health. Mm -hmm. People don't buy toothpaste for their health if, based on commercials, right? I mean, surely Procter & Gamble has done some research into this. It being in, t in, in toothpaste commercials, people kiss. Or, or, I mean, it's about sparkle, right? If you told me that that would prevent some sort of gum disease down the road, mm -hmm. but this one over here would make my teeth sparklier, I'd buy the sparklier toothpaste. I, you know what I mean? It's, it's, I don't think we make that decision in the drugstore based on, on overall health, or we wouldn't buy cigarettes and vodka at the same time. Well, the question is, you buy cigarettes and vodka, but can you make your trip to the dentist an easier one? What people are doing is they're buying product. I used to buy product before I got into this business, which I thought I was doing a good job. America is a developed country. I thought I was buying something which was good for my teeth. I didn't realize what it did and what it did not do. When you have been told you have gum disease, you're looking for a solution. I don't have to market this. I have 66 million people asking for it because they know a cleaner mouth means less disease. 66 million, is that like people who have purchased or on a waiting no, list or what, what is no, that? No, because these people have been diagnosed with gum disease. Their is doctor has told them, their dentist has told them that you got gum disease and we're going to try to prevent its progression. So these people are looking for solutions. 
Has the, have the instances of gum disease been rising over the years, or is that, is that why you see a need for a product like this? Well, uh, last year was the first year that the U.S. CDC actually said gum disease is a serious problem. Okay. This is one of those epidemics, 66 million people you have never heard of. Because yes, it doesn't, it's not like diabetes, but on the other hand, it really affects your lifestyle. This is a lifestyle product. If you use this, people understand at a very basic level that if you have a clean mouth, you will have lesser disease. Amit, um, did you approach this as, I am going to change the world of toothpaste and revolutionize and disrupt the toothpaste industry, or did you say, I want to disrupt some kind of industry, what industries are out there? Well, with all these things, serendipity helps. Um, we had bleeding gums. I have been, I and my partners have been researching the role of metals in inflammation and biofilm since 2002 with the University of Texas Medical Branch Galveston and UC Irvine since 2002, as I said. So it started with the dental health care? No, we have products in ophthalmology and dermatology that were going through the FDA in, in various clinical trials. We all had bleeding gums back in 2009. And we said, knowing what we know of this... This is the worst startup story ever, by the way. <laughs> it's not, you know, we were trying to sell Pez dispensers or we all had bleeding gums. Right. It's not, never going to sell with USA Today. Well, the funny part of this one... <laughs> it might, actually. It might take it <laughs> the funny part of it is, when our bleeding stopped, we went to a clinical practice in Milpitas and said, let's do a double-blind study. The results were so good that we looked at it and we said, yep, this is all legal. And the, uh, uh, much but nobody's going to believe up. it. I should say, when I started this, I said 250% better based on materials that I had Already read. published. But also, but also in published scientific papers. Yes. So, yes. so when we did the Milpita study, we looked at the data ourselves, and this was pristine. But we looked at each other and we laughed. One, we were happy. Number two, we said, nobody's going to believe this. Because who thinks of toothpaste like this? So we said, let's go to an American university and let them do the study because they're the gold standard and we, that's the data you see how, how do you but how do you compete there's so many different brands of toothpaste there's so much advertising is do you I feel like this you, is one of those things where people are really price sensitive right you just choose what's on sale right or the you brand that you're loyal to all. right well I mean when you go for a commodity you're absolutely right it's all packaging mm -hmm. and taste that's how you look at it but when you're starting to say if you if imagine yourself in an aisle where there's one toothpaste which says I'm two and a half times better than anything in this aisle for cleaning your teeth. Now it's up to you whether you want to pick it up or not. But the reality is we are not advertising in the traditional way. Our over 100,000 customers are our brand ambassadors. They tell their friends. We have people who will buy 40 tubes. They'll tell their friends. They'll tell their relatives. They'll tell their dentists. Dentists call us. We don't call dentists. They call us because they're curious. It's that support from dentists and hygienists who buy it for their own families. So, um, uh, now I gotta, I gotta stop you there, uh, Alice. But uh, oh my, uh, Amit Goswami, the first person on the show to ever try to revolutionize toothpaste, we're, we're rather impressed. And, and hopefully, you have some other tubes that John hasn't licked. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thank, Thank you for being with us this morning. Up next, author of the best selling book turned movie, The Martian, when press here continues.